Hello everyone, welcome to Bobby B's East Coast RC. I am Bobby B. Um, today I'm going to be working on my Axial AX10 Ridgecrest. And I've converted it to a solid axle monster truck. Uh, it's got a 540 dynamite taser. Um, I think it is 3300 KV. Yep. Um, works like a charm. I upgraded the servo. Uh, Sabix, very, very good quality. I haven't had a problem with it since. Uh, I got some Clodbuster tires for it, some RC four-wheel drive rumble tires, which I got. I was lucky to get those bad boys like $42 after shipping for four, which is like incredibly cheap. Um, and somebody got them and they didn't like them, so I got lucky on that. But um, make a long story short, I was going to get a, a Tommy a Wild One buggy. And this is after I got the CWL1 Montero. I started thinking... Instead of uh, getting a new RC, why don't I just put money into an RC? I'll make a new RC out of one, which I, I mentioned in videos that if you don't have a ton of money, you know, you could sink sometimes even under 100 bucks, and you can change the RC enough. Because you change the body and the tires, and to a normal person, it'll look like a new truck. Um, so, I wanted to put some money into my Axial AX10. Um, so, I, I decided to wait on the Wild One buggy. One thing that I've been wanting for this truck for a while is new shocks. The shocks, I have no problems with them. They're they're tinny shafts. They they work good. They're thick too. Um, but yeah, I mean they work good. They dampen well. They work good on the monster truck and everything. The problem is the look. The, there is no look. I mean there's virtually no look. I painted the springs blue, but um you know they're black bodied shocks. They don't stand out at all. Um. And the shocks that I've always wanted from were RC four-wheel drive off-road racing shocks. King shocks, bad boys. Look at these things. These things are incredibly scale. And I'm willing to bet that they are going to look awesome on the solid axle monster truck. That's whether I run the King Crunch body, the barefoot body, or any old body. If I got monster truck status with some Cloudbuster tires or something like that, and these shocks, I'm betting it's going to look pretty sweet. So I got these. These are not cheap. They're RC four-wheel drive. Come on. I mean, they were like 48 bucks for a two-pack. Something like that after shipping. But still, I mean, we're talking close to 100 bucks. The price for these shocks alone was very, very close to the price of a Tamiya lunchbox. I mean, or a Tamiya grasshopper. Um, so, you know, it cost me a little bit. But I wanted them. You know, I always have trouble sinking this kind of money into something. But the fact that I know they're going to be quality... And the scale appearance, I just, I didn't want to pass them up. This is the time I had money for the kit, and it was like, all right, I'll never get them on a normal, you know, paycheck budget for RC, so it's going to have to be now while I still had some money budgeted for my tax return. So the Wild One Buggy's like 189 uh, no, how much is it? I think 179 uh, Don't quote me on that. We're talking Tower Hobbies. I don't know. But you save some money when you spend certain amounts. You know how it goes with the promo code, so... Um, so I also, I've mentioned this in a video that I wanted to get this when I burnt out the spur with the King Crunch and I did, I got an aluminum hot racing one, but it uses a regular slipper clutch. I love the Robinson Racing Gen 3 slipper unit. I have it in my Traxxas Slash that I run as a rally car and with a discount tire body on it and it helps me get power to the ground in a great way. And what I mean by that is like, if I'm having too much tire spin, I can dial it back a little and find the sweet spot where I could take off. You could do this with a regular slipper unit too. Um, but you, you know, you want to be careful because if you over tighten it, you could have problems stripping gears. If you have it too loose, you could even have problems stripping gears. So it, it's all about like finesse. You want to, you know, just tweak it a little bit. Like a, I mean, like an eighth of a turn and, and run it and see how you feel. And to me, I mean, that kind of stuff's fun. I enjoy doing that. But so with, once I got with the slash and I got it dialed in, I was really starting to understand how it works. Uh, I've always wanted one for this truck ever since I turned it into a monster truck. So I finally put the money in for that. So that was like 30 bucks or something after shipping. Uh, it's not cheap. I got it as cheap as I possibly could on eBay because they don't carry it at my local hobby shop. And I knew I was going to have to get it online. So I said, if I'm getting it online, I'm going to try to get it as cheap as I can. And that was pretty cheap. Some some I saw was like $38 after shipping. So I got for, I think, $29.99 free shipping. That was, which is a good deal, uh, believe it or not. Um, Let me pick up the camera now because I want to make a mention of something. 
So, if you follow my videos, you've seen the King Crunch body and probably the Barefoot body. Um, I love monster trucks, and I've always liked these two. This is the old, old King Crunch, King Crunch 1. This when he first came into monster truck, and this is what it looked like. And I always liked the newer King Crunch. Actually, I think, no, I got rid of it. I had a toy of the new one over there. But, um, yeah, I've always, I like the new King Crunch too. But this one just, it has a look that, you know, it could be because I'm a Chevy guy, but I just love the look of this truck. And this is like the Blazer pickup truck body. And I tried something for the first time, which was like to try to put a roll bar. This is a Tamiya High Lift Kit roll bar. Um, and I used a, a body reamer and I reamed the holes. As you can see, it's pretty gappy. I mean, this was like the second time trying it technically, and I kind of mutilated my blue pickup truck body doing it too, just to practice, because I, I really wanted to nail it for this. And I mean, it stays, so that's good. I can't complain. And the real one had a roll bar, so it was important to me to have that, to have the look I wanted. Didn't have a big blower like that. That's just me with the monster truck stuff. But yeah, I always liked it. The barefoot truck too. This is a real truck. It ran a lot in the late 90s and I think even into the early 2000s. You know, Dodge Ram. I've been a Mopar guy. My dad had a Dodge Ram. He got a 97 Dodge Ram pickup truck. It's red like this. Just plain red pickup truck. It's a 1500. And he still has it today. Because he used it for projects and stuff. He had a little Buick Century and then he got a new car again. But it was like his work truck. And he still has it. It's still on the road. So, yeah, I've always been a Mopar guy. I, I guess you're kind of into what you, what you see growing up, especially if you're a kid who likes trucks and you're into stuff like that, then what you see is what you want, you know. And uh, I've always liked these trucks. But it was time to do my own, uh, my own custom monster truck body because I knew I was going to upgrade this chassis. Sorry, the screen keeps going black on me. And I wanted to give it my own twist, so... And planning it, you know, because I drew on the uh, protective sheeting on the outside to get the pattern I wanted. And then I followed the lines I made with a ruler, as a matter of fact. And uh, and used the painter's tape on the inside. And then if I went over somewhere, I tried to use a hobby knife, which I don't really like using uh, on bodies. But I tried to use a hobby knife and fix it. And there's little mistakes. There's always mistakes on my bodies. It just doesn't bother me. As long as I'm happy with the overall look. If I'm happy with the look, then, then it's a win. And these are some decals I had. They came as single skulls, a sheet of them. And I, I made sure I had two sets of each because they would be pointing opposite ways. That way I could make sure I could do it on both sides. So, oops, sorry about that. So, I mean, it's, it's basic. It's a Chevy C10. I think it's a 1972, but don't quote me on that. It's a Proline body. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm thinking... That this with the King off-road shocks and like some RC four-wheel drive rumble tires is gonna look real good. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to put the camera mounted on something and I'll open the shocks that way you guys can see that. And give me one sec. Forget it. Well, I've had these things for a few days, but I was like, no way, I'm gonna wait so I could show my viewers. But these things, oh, these things are so cool. You know, they got like some replica knockoffs on the RR10, the Axial RR10 bomber. And that's what I was looking at at first, but I didn't realize, like, you know, it's just painted that way. I thought they were actually the King Shocks, but they do look incredibly better than the ones I have on my truck over there. So I'll give them that. But, I mean, I found uh, all four for like 50-something. And I was like, oh, I kind of I wanted to get that. And then I found these. And I, I, you know, I'm looking at the picture and I'm like, no, nah, I really want those. So I just went with it. But I'm happy with them. These these feel awesome. I think I'm going to put some real lightweight oil in them. If they're, I'm pretty sure they're oil shocks. They, I mean, I don't even know, come to think of it, but they got to be. Um, But yeah, I do. I want that, like, really springiness. And from what I understand, you, you shouldn't leave them dry. I guess it's bad for the seals or something. I don't know. But, um, so, you know, I'll look into that a little bit, and if I have to, I'll use some really, really thin, thin oil, like some 10 or 15 or something, and just a minimum, just so it pops up fast, like an old school truck. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I mean, I got the Arrow 2 too, but next time you see them, they'll be on the truck, so. I'm not going to put this on right away. What I want to do, though, is I want to throw those shocks on, throw the tires on, put the body on, and then, you know, voila, let's have a look at it, right? The 
pretty sweet. Close up. Alright. Alright guys, so I got the shocks mounted and I got the tires mounted up and it's already looking beautiful. Look at those shocks, man. Gorgeous. These are good looking shocks. These will look good on a crawler, a trail truck, a mud truck, a monster truck, these a short course truck. These are just good looking shocks. These are the 110 uh, millimeters. Uh, they had 100. And they probably have 120. I don't know. They probably have a few. But these ones I got were 110. I'll double check. But yeah, 110 millimeters. And they look good. So now, I've not seen it all together. But I wanted to get you guys in on the act. Sorry about the glare. Let me turn that away. Okay. There's body going. Oh, these are the moments. These are the moments that make me love this hobby. And sharing it. Jeez. Look at that. Look at that, baby. I have to adjust the rear mount, though. It's like wheeling. Yeah, look at that. I see the back. It's like slanted upward. But all I gotta do is adjust the mounts. But, jeez, this thing looks good. I love those shocks. Absolutely love them. Look at those things. The body. I love the body. I love the way it came out. I have another uh, RPM mock blower. I don't know if I'm going to use it because I like the hood so much, but I did get another one because it's monster truck style. Uh, I don't know if I use it. Maybe I'll just use the top part, the little blower, but I don't know. Time will tell. I showed you I got the Zoomy pipes. Actually, that was, who knows, I made so much footage today with the interruptions at the door and everything going on with the camera. I don't know what footage I'm going to use, but... Yes, I did have zoomy pipes. So as you can see, they're huge. Here, let me get the other side. But man, it would be cool. I don't know where I'd put them, but you know, there's potential. I mean, having exhaust pipes on a monster truck, there's definitely potential there. I gotta figure out a way to mount them. But gee, they look cool. I was gonna use a styrene. I got a styrene tube, and that's what I used for the Grave Digger truck. I did the Grave Digger one. So I was thinking maybe I'd do some pipes with that, but I did want to do some pipes. I was originally going to do the blower up here and then like a row of four pipes sticking straight up and a row of four pipes sticking straight up. But uh, yeah, time will tell. But uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you think. I'm going to get this body so it's level. But yeah, I mean that's a, I hope you guys will think it's a good looking monster truck. I sure do. And the fact that it's uh, what one of a kind as far as it not being a, a duplicate like King Crunch and Barefoot. That's just cool. And it's a Chevy. Where my Chevy guys at? And, it, you know, it's not too early. If you are interested in the 500 subscriber giveaway, uh, definitely leave a comment. Let me know that you'd be willing to uh, be in the drawing for it. You know, let me move this. Because it's now... It's got to the point where it's very much real. This is going to be somebody's. This is a brand new Traxxas two-wheel drive stampede. I just got it from my hobby shop. They didn't have any. They ordered them. Uh, as I was saying, they got seal trucks now. It's very cool. But yeah, brand new. The thing I don't like is the DC charger. It takes only 45 minutes. It's a 4 amp, but you got to use a car. Or you have to get the converter. Um, they didn't, I was quick, I almost bought the converter. If they had one, I probably would have. It's, there, it's like 28 bucks, I think he said, or something. I don't know how much it, the going rate is for it, but. Uh, yeah, so, uh, let me know if you guys want the Trek Stampede. It's actually blue, it's a blue body, uh, inside. Let me know if you're interested in winning it. You know, if you're my subscriber and you're into RC, those are the qualifications. So, let me know what you think. What we're going to do for the drawing is I'm going to do a continuous shot. It'll be me and Big John. And if you're in it, you'll get your name on two separate cards. I will have either a bucket or something that we're going to draw the names out of. And he'll have his own. And the first person that we draw their name, each of us draws the person's name, uh, will win the truck. That way it's not like we start going, we pull a name out and then boom, it happens. 
uh, you know, we're gonna have a little fun with it. I want, I mean, this, if you win this raffle, then it'll be like, you're meant to have the truck. Your name will have been pulled out twice, and you'll see it in the video. And then we'll get a hold of you, we'll find out how to get it to you, you won't have to pay a dime. Uh, and you'll have yourself a brand new truck. So let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, as always, I extremely, extremely appreciate the support. It means a lot. We're at like 455 subscribers, so we got to wait till 500. But at this rate, it's probably not going to be too much longer. So I picked up the truck now. This is the first truck I ever got was a Traxxas two-wheel drive stampede. It was the Grave Digger truck, though, and it changed. It changed everything. It changed my life because it got me into the hobby. And from there, I just want to know what else is what else does this hobby have to offer? And I was off and running like that, you know. So uh, please let me know if you want the truck. It's all yours. You just gotta win it. <laughs> so uh, you know, let me know if you're interested. Thanks again for all the support, guys. Greatly appreciated. Uh, shout out to Team Integrity RC. Uh, love you guys. And remember, as always, have fun, but stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.